We just got a whole shipment of new rods and reels, and we're gonna unbox them and put them together on today's episode. Let's get into it. What's up, nerds? Welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing and another fun unboxing. We finally got, finally got, way late in the year, a shipment from Akuma that was supposed to arrive in like March? Here's what happened. Essentially, at the beginning of every year that we work with the company, we get to say, hey, I'd love to have this stuff, right? So we send them a list. And what happened was there was an error on the list, I guess, and it neglected all the rods and all the reels that we wanted. So we didn't get any. And we were like, oh, maybe it's a shipping issue. Maybe it's a supply chain problem. Didn't seem to be, everybody else was getting stuff. So I finally, this is how I guess stubborn or lazy about this I've been. I finally reached out to Dave Brown, our guy who is awesome over at Akuma. And I was like, hey man, I'm just wondering where'd all these rods and reels go? Are you guys having supply chain issues? And he was like, no. So I looked at our sheet and I found out we never ordered them. Oh, I was, I was pissed at myself, mostly. <laughs> it sucked. So anyways, I was like, hey man, would it be possible to get us this? Even though it's late in the year, he said, yes, I put in the order. Here we go. We got it all today. So we have seven rods and four, really is five reels to go together with these rods. So we're gonna create a whole bunch of new combos here. Four of them are actually for Paul because I, I got a pretty big Akuma order of rods and reels last year. So I'm already kind of stocked and we wanted to stock our boy up. So we're gonna take care of him today. And if you could, if you enjoy the content, content like this, and of course we do a lot of fishing as well, be sure to subscribe, smash the like, ring that notification bell, and then go join our new podcast. We're live every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's called Aggressively Average Angler, and it's for the anglers out there who are beginner to intermediate level that are collecting tackle and rods and reels. They're interested in this kind of stuff and reel reviews, all of that. And they just want to get better at fishing. They want to go out and catch more fish and have more fun. If that sounds like you, you'd enjoy the show. We bring experts on every single week. It's a blast. And I'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. It's also available on any podcast platform you listen to right now. So go subscribe, drop us a five-star review. We love you for it. Let's get into this. So first up, I've been waiting on this one for a million years. This is the ITX from Akuma. We actually got two of them, not one but two, one for my boy Paul and one for moi. And I'm gonna put this on our sissy sticks, our spinning reels. Would a man with a sissy stick also own a Wildcat Skinner uh, flip out Bowie knife? No. Everybody knows there's a place for finesse. Get out of town if you don't. All right, so the ITX is, I believe a carbon frame, so check this out. Here's the description, you guys know the drill. If you wanna read the description, I'm not an engineer, so you can look at that stuff. You can also look it up. Akuma has a pretty detailed website. So uh, seven plus one bearings, five, eight to one gear ratio, which is kind of my favorite spot to be. Only weighs in at 7.1 ounces. Seven pounds of drag, which is not in, I mean, it's not heavy, but it's definitely not too light that I'm gonna have any issues with this. And this is going on a finesse setup anyways. This is the 1000 size. So let me go ahead and just, I'm already seeing a lot of things that I really like about this. Let me tighten this guy down. I already like the feel of this, even over the Helios SX and the Inspira that I have. So this is replacing those, just so you guys know. I'm getting a whole new finesse setup. You'll see in a second. This is one of the, if not the heaviest duty bales I have seen on a spinning reel, maybe ever. Like, look at this thing. That is just absolutely phenomenal. Well made, man. That is gonna be heavy duty. Um, issue that I've actually had with my Inspira and my Helios SX is that when flipping the bale down after a, a cast, it doesn't like close all the way. And then that leads to this weird, like kind of clicking grinding sound that you're gonna hear as you're reeling. This one already feels a lot more durable, sturdy, smooth, all of the above. Uh, it also comes with the braid band there. If you guys are familiar with this, look at that right there. Kind of this groove hatch section right there where you're gonna tie your main line onto uh, the, the spool. And as you can see, it's the ITX 1000. There's your line capacity there as well. Um, very well designed, very nice look. Look at that, that design is sick. Uh, so carbon based frame says high speed. 5.8 to one is I guess technically like a high speed for a reel. So this is going on a finesse setup. I'm not like burning anything with this. It's gonna be mostly drop shots and neds. But if you guys know us, 
We like to be subtly aggressive, so I'm kind of power finessing anyways. This is a great fit for me. Also notice the knob. So I first encountered this little like foam cushion, which by the way is still uh, grippy even when it gets wet. I encountered this first with the Serrano. So you guys remember that was the first Akuma product that we reviewed on the channel. It's the blue one. Hey, look, it's right here. This setup, the Serrano there. And uh, that reel, which is actually outside in my office right now, came with those same foam PAL handles. And while I didn't love it on a bait caster, I actually really do like it on this spinning setup. So I've seen a lot of guys on the team already fishing with these. So I am excited to finally have it in my hands and it's probably gonna be a staple for a long time to come. So boom, stoked about that. One last look, that's the ITX. Dude, really nice profile, love the colorway. Super smooth, really well made. Anti-reverse is on now and we are good. Nice and smooth, feels really good in my hand. Um, kind of the, the perfect size for finesse setups. I'll show you what it looks like in the rod in a second. Next up, you guys already know this one, but this is the Hakai, specifically the DT. Uh, the 101H there indicates that it's a left-hand retrieve, because that's how we are. Um, I, I never learned on the right hand retrieve and I can't learn it now. So we're going lefty. <laughs> all my lefties out there say, hey, and all my righties out there, I mean, you're fine in my books. I like you guys too. Don't hate. Um, <laughs> so these are awesome. I love these. They come with these really comfy handles. Again, it's this foam. If it gets wet, it still maintains grip. That's what you want. Um, really well designed, strong handle there. Uh, we got our drag set up right there. So it also comes with your line indicator on there. So you can set that just by grabbing it and very difficultly twisting it. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it is kind of like a set it and forget it. Like once you know, oh, this has my 14 pound line on there or whatever, like you're good. You don't have to ever change that setting again. Uh, you got your spool tension on the side. No, it's not clicky. And I know that's something that we really like to have. It's obviously it's not necessary, but it's something I prefer. It's not clicky, that's okay. So this comes with the F-Lite spool. So this is a very well-made setup. This thing, let me get you an inside look at it. To open this, you actually just twist this little piece here by your drag setting. And then it comes out with the spools. Check this out. There we go. So that is just sitting magnetized to your brakes. So we got mag brakes right there, setting for which is on the outside here, as you guys can see. So you just twist that, et cetera. Looks great. And look at that disc. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a really well-made mag brake setup. Um, there we go, we got our bearing on that side as well. And this spool has a nice line capacity it's also really good, and you can see here, uh, this is a collaboration with Dream Tackle Design. You guys can see that. Really well made setup. What this does is it actually allows you to cast heavy lures and light lures on the same reel, and really well. Um, I have not had any issues throwing this thing around. I've loved it to death. Uh, this is on my 7.3 medium heavy psycho stick setup so i use it all the time it is like my go-to rod and reel setup this is for paul uh we both have like the high gear ratio the eight three i think it's eight three to one eight two to one maybe um, but that high speed gear ratio reel right now we both have one of those um, we opted to grab at least one other like lower gear ratio so this would be it these things are really smooth don't let like this little thing detract you from that that doesn't have really anything to do like you see the guys like go into bass pro cabela's whatever and they're just like oh spinny spinny does it work it doesn't really tell you much it's how it feels when you're actually like reeling the thing and when you're casting that matters and you're not going to really know that until you get out on the water and you give it a shot there you go so very solid bait caster one of the easier ones to learn on i'd argue like this is a very well-made bait caster you're not gonna overspool and bird's nest a whole bunch on it. It's pretty hard to do on this, even just right out of the box. I've had a lot of success with that. So one more look at this baby. There you go. Next up, we have the Komodo SS in the 300 size. Now, the reason I got this is because I already have a 300 size. However, the 300 size that I do have was for my swim bait setup, which uh, <laughs> not knowing anything about swim baits and glide baits, 
I went overboard on. We had the SBX series. So this is the SBX, which if you'll read the back here with me, is a 7-Eleven built for lure weights two to 10 ounces. This is a 7-Eleven like extra heavy. This thing is an absolute broomstick. And it turned out to be a little more swim bait, glide bait, rod and reel than I wanted. The reel I ended up opting for also has the power handle which I think is great for like gigantic musky baits or if I ever get into the five ounce plus glides and swims, um, it can be nice if you know you, you um, have more rhythm than I have, which I have zero, uh, maybe you can like use that, maybe it's more effective that way. I wanted regular handles and I could use like the regular 200 size Komodo SS. I like these handles, kind of oversized, really nice. So the 200 size would be fine, but I do like throwing some of the bigger glides, like the nine inch uh, draw that I just got from Six Sense and that um, Six Sense garage sale sack that you guys saw. So I went a little bigger. So we got the 300 size with the regular handles. Now the nice thing about this, I think is one, it also has that drag setting, but um, that I do like the Komodo SS. It's a very well-made, heavy-duty frame. I mean, you got stainless steel gearing on this thing. It is a little bit heftier because it is so heavy-duty, but it's a good feel in the hand, especially when you're throwing big baits, and it's going to pair really well with my new lighter weight swim and glide bait rod. So I'm pretty stoked about this. If you guys haven't seen the Komodo up close before, check it out. So all this like metal frame with a very nice feel to it. You've got a very slim spool in there. So you can spool up, I mean like 500,000 yards of line, maybe not that much, like a lot of line. Uh, stainless steel gearing, as well as your drag setup feels like you're never gonna break this. The handle, oh my gosh, it's all just really nice, really, really heavy duty. I've like thrown this thing on the ground, not kidding. Dropped my combo multiple times. You can see a little bit of rash on, uh, this setup right here, there, there. That's from either baits, hooks, dropping it. I've legitimately put this thing through the ringer and look at it, it looks perfectly fine. And it functions perfectly fine. I got this one all spooled up. This one's actually going to Paul, by the way. Uh, so we did order another Komodo SS for Paul in the seven, three to one gear ratio. That's this one right here. So I'll be sending this over his way. And I already got spooled up. What a, what a nice guy I am. But for this one, this is also a lower gear ratio. Can you see where it says 364 LX? So LX is just the left hand, 364, it's a six four to one gear ratio. So it's a little slower gear ratio, which is perfect for those swim baits and those glide baits. This one does have a clicky tension knob. That is nice. The oversized handles with that, again, that foam, as it gets wet, still maintains grip. Already came pre-greased up. You can see right there on that gear. And look at that, I found it on the bottom. 230 yards if it's 14 pound test. Now I'm gonna go a little bit heavier than that because I'm throwing only swim baits. Um, but yeah, this is a fantastic, look at the, I have, you know, kind of big bear mitts, but there you go, you can see that. Pretty hefty, but nonetheless, like fantastic reel. I'm excited to start using this thing. Um, these are a little bit more of a pain in the butt to like take the side plate off. Essentially, you gotta like unscrew this section here. So once you take this little security bar out, then you just turn this thing up, pull her off, there we go. Look at that, dude. So much grease in here already, I love it. It's, it's actually ready to go. And then this will have something similar to if you guys have fished like an SLX or something. Uh, lots of Shimano's have these, the six tabs, right? That's your, your braking system. So I like to make sure I've got three of those on to start and then just go from there. So we got one on, two on, and three on. That's like a starting point. From there, I'm gonna go cast around a bunch of heavy baits and see how it goes. I might have to heft that up a little bit, but that's fine. All good, one last look there. 300 size Komodo SS, I'm digging it. Okay, that's it for reels. Now for the, uh, to me, more exciting part, let's get into these rods. Just grabbing from the batch here. So first up, I think this one's mine, yeah. So this is the Akuma Psycho Stick, and this one comes in the Heavy 7.5. This is my new jigging and frogging setup. I like a good all around like heavy stick that I can just gravitate towards. Um, this one is gonna have a seven three to one gear ratio Komodo SS on it as well. Nice well-balanced reel, super heavy duty, perfect for like 
your jigs, your heavier Texas rigs, even Carolinas, and then also, of course, for frogging. So throwing stuff up in the slop, um, also punching, flipping, all that stuff. This is a great all around setup. And the Psycho Stick, if you guys don't know, is like one of the lightest, strongest setups I have ever used. I mean, look at that. This thing is built different. I've been fishing a Psycho Stick in a medium heavy, seven two, I think it is, uh, for 18 months at this point with a Hakai reel on it as well. All time like favorite setup. It is, it's so nice, it's so light, like just feels really good. I mean, look at like your reel seat here as well. So if I were to throw like this Komodo on here, just so you guys can see it, you got a double tension knob. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this. Look at that. So you tighten this one down first, right? So that's on there nice and good. And then we actually go ahead and throw this on top, right? Double tension. You're never gonna feel like that reel is, is going anywhere. Again, if you're uh, the analytical type, there's all your details. 46 ton carbon blank, my gal. Also got Fuji guides, the sick guides. Telling you guys, this is going to be one of my favorite setups period. Uh, it's gonna be super heavy duty. It's gonna be great for all the jig stuff I like to do, especially coming up this time of year. Um, but also when you're getting heavy stuff and you're frogging in the summer, this is gonna be so comfortable to frog with. I can't wait. Um, yeah, pumped. I, I love every setup in this batch, but this one holds a, a place in my heart, near and dear to my heart. Probably my favorite part about recording this episode is just taking off all these tags and getting a look at this setup. Oh, Yes. Just noticed this was sitting off to the side. No, this is not a white claw. It's some weird kind of bubbly energy drink, right? Don't make fun of me. I'm tired. Give me a break. And yeah, it's a Detroit Lions on there. It's a Tervis that was on clearance. Give me another break. So this one, on the other hand, is a mirror to my go-to setup because Paul is an absolute copycat. Everybody knows that. Uh, no, because he has great taste. It's a Psycho Stick. It's a 7.2 medium heavy. This is the do-all rig, and it does do all. I'm telling you guys, I have a Hakai in that high-speed gear ratio. This is for bladed jigs, it's for spinner baits, but but I also will throw inline spinners on this. I will throw uh, shaky heads on this. I will throw crankbaits on this sometimes, especially square bills, and it's got enough of that like kind of flex to it. Yes, it's a, it's a fast action tip. That said, you can also handle treble baits with this pretty well. I'm also fishing jerk baits on this a lot. Like it really does it all. And I think Paul's gonna be pumped about this. I'm gonna leave all this stuff attached for him. It's the same setup as the one I just showed you. So you got the double lockdown here for the real seat. It's that 46 ton carbon blank. And by the way, if I didn't show it well enough on the last one, just look how sexy this setup is. One of the most gorgeous setups I've ever seen. And these Fuji guides are absolute money. They hold up so well. So there we go. So that's a, a Paul setup. Let me go over here and snap it in half. What's next? This is just Christmas, dude. Uh, this one's mine. Check it out. Drop Shot Finesse. If that doesn't say my name, I don't know what does. This is the Tournament Concept Series from Akuma. And... This is a beautiful reel seat. Look at this thing. A little cork with some grippy foam up on top. You got a little foam core there as well where your reel is gonna be sitting. This is getting the ITX. So let's go ahead and throw that on there. That little foam core piece right there, one, feels great. So this is generally where like my thumb is gonna sit as I'm fishing throughout the day. Uh, two is gonna have grip because it's that foam even when it gets wet. And three, makes this reel very snug. Like this is one of the most secure setups on a rod I think I've ever felt. Like I'm really digging that. Um, it does have this like kind of funky plastic piece, which I've had tournament concepts before. I actually gave my last one. It was a bait caster to Paul. So it's his jig and worm setup right now. This I don't love. This I don't love at all, but I'm okay with it. It's still like a better feel in the hand than most of the setups that I have. And if you hold it like this, it's actually kind of perfect. If I hold it with like a middle finger, ring finger down here, it's a little bit weird, a little bit funky, right? But pinky on here, that's actually pretty good. I kind of like that. Like that's the grip right there. That's the grip, that's money. And this rod, by the way, drop shot finesse, as you guys saw, 
is a seven foot medium light. Now I like a medium light over a light. It gives me a little more backbone. So if I get into like a two and a half, three pounder, even bigger than that, like it's gonna hold up really well. This is a fast-ish action tip. Look at how low in the rod blanket bends, which isn't that big a deal to me. I'm actually good with that. Again, you got the Fuji guides, which are gonna hold up for a billion years and feel fantastic, very durable. This is a 30 ton carbon blank, by the way. These, as well as the Psycho Stick series, they're pretty much like indestructible. I love these things. And now this, having this ITX on here, oh my gosh, it just feels great. I cannot wait. This is gonna be my go-to finesse setup. I'm gonna be fishing this the vast majority of the time, especially, well, no all the time. Like this is Ned rigs and drop shots all day long. This is gonna be great. I love it. And once again, just for the looks of it, look at that, that blue in here, so fine. Look at that, oh my gosh. I Like you gotta give props where props are due and these guys make some really good looking rods. Another one of my favorites, I've had a setup like this that I've fished for about 18 months. This is the Guide Select Cranking Series. So specifically for cranking, this one in particular is a 710 medium heavy. Now the FG there stands for full grip, right? So look at that, you get this whole grip at the base of the rod. And what that's gonna do is, I mean, it gives you casting power, right? So at a 710 plus a full grip, you should be able to cast any of your cranks a mile. Like literally, this is one of the most powerful cat. I can't do it in my office. You know, I'm just gonna bash the ceiling. This one's for Paul, so I can break it if I want to. But <laughs> this gives you so much casting power. You are gonna bomb these cranks across your lake. If you got a pond, it's going into the grass on the other side. It's probably hitting a Karen off her dock, right? Like you have no choice but to destroy with this thing. Um, it's a really sick setup though. Look at that. Just absolute juice. Uh, cork all the way down here, it is like legit, not that foamy, squishy crap you get on Amazon. Um, you've got a really nice reel seat here as well. Uh, very comfortable, one of the most comfortable reel seat setups I have ever felt. Even more, like the Psycho Stick is close. This is probably the best one though that Akuma has. Like this is so comfortable to fish with all day. I've got an SLX DC on my setup. It's my preference for cranking. I really do enjoy fishing with that. Um, but yeah, this thing is just, again, gorgeous. Yeah, juicy setup. Because it's for cranking, look at that. There's the backbone of the rod right there, as you guys can see, much further down the rod blank. So gives you some really good fighting power with treble-based baits. Kind of jealous, just a little bit, not much. But Paul is getting a lot of setups out of this order. Um, so here's his. This is called the Shaky Head specifically, but just kind of a good all around tournament concept, seven foot medium. And it's the exact same like look and feel and all that to that medium light I have. This is just the next step up as far as power goes. So medium, and again, it should be a fast, action tip there you go right there the fast action though and this is funny this came up as a point of contention when we had ethan Duvetter, otherwise known as fish anything you guys should go look him up subscribe to him follow him all that stuff amazing guy he's based out of michigan right now he runs mule fishing co and when he does a ton of rod reviews by the way if you guys are looking to get into ultralight maybe you've seen some of our ultralight videos we talk a lot about like the baits and all that he talks all about the rods, the reels, he's had everything. So if you wanna know what to buy, go watch some of his videos. We got into this a little bit with him. What is fast action? The definition is just different across the board. And this is a good example of that. Like this fast action bends all the way down here on this blank, right? Which is fine. You're still gonna have, I mean, you're gonna have to set the hook a little bit harder with something like this versus like a true fast action or extra fast action tip. But fighting power, we're good. Like this is a very powerful setup and you can get into a big fish on like a heavier drop shot if you're power shotting or something like that, or even obviously a shaky head, heavier Ned rigs, all of that. You're gonna just blast them on this thing. So pretty stoked for Paul on this. I think he's gonna like it a lot. All right, last one for Paul and then I got one more for me. So this is again, the Psycho Stick, but now spinning setup. Now I've not used a Psycho Stick in a spinning setup. So uh, he opted to go for this. I opted to go for the tournament concept just so we could both kind of compare, contrast, see how it goes. So you've got the double 
screw lock there for the real seat. As I said, Cyberstick, very comfortable real seat, almost as comfortable as that Guide Select Cranking Series. So again, got one of the heaviest duty blanks that you're gonna see anywhere, 46 ton, gosh dang. This thing's got like a really nice hatched groove pattern all the way up, a uh, really nice grip. Show you the base there as well, fantastic, feels very good. And then, look at that, you're gonna have massive flexibility. So you can see this is a little faster action even than that TCS, the Tournament Concept Series. Um, but should be, if not the best, one of the best spinning setups I think he could have. Yeah, uh, it's a 7.2 medium light. Fancy, 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 I love it. And finally, the one I'm most excited about, as I said, I had too heavy a duty of a swimming, swim bait setup. So we opted for a much lighter setup, lighter. This is a guide select swim bait rod. You guys can see right there, the swim bait stick, they call it, uh, which I'm pumped about, because again, most comfortable real seat in the game. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't wait to fish with this thing. You got the extra long butt to the rod with a very strong like power handle here. So again, castability. Bam, I'm gonna be popping glide baits out there. I can't wait for this thing. And it is made for one to six ounce instead of that two to 10 ounce. So still feels heavy duty, but it doesn't feel like a broomstick. So I feel like I'll be more comfortable casting with this, fishing it all day long. Um, and again, it's that, that guide select power. So we're rocking the, the Elkanite ring Fujis, as well as this UFR tip, which is the ultimate, what is it? The ultimate flex reinforcement, whatever that means. Anyways, so it, it gives you a little more whippiness to a still insanely strong build, right? Like this is not gonna break on me. It's gonna handle heavier weighted lures. It's gonna handle big fish. Um, that ultimate flex reinforcement is gonna hold up really well. Once again, just all around like a very nice looking setup. Again, it's a 711 heavy, not the extra heavy this time. And I cannot wait to fish this, which is gonna happen this weekend. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this baddie on here. We'll have this 300 size Komodo SS. There we go, so that's the rig. That is the swim bait setup. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, just pow, 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 pow. <laughs> I'm a child. Um, but yeah, super fun. Very good looking setup. Can't wait to fish it. 12 out of 10. All right, you guys, so we got a whole bunch of line spooling to do. So I'm gonna get to that. We're gonna go fish these things this weekend. You should see them in our upcoming fishing videos. Unfortunately, we've got short time to fish left in the year. We're burning daylight and we're running out of it real fast. So we're gonna try and get at least a few trips under our belts with these different rigs and we'll see what we can do. And of course, we'll report back to you with how we feel about these setups. We've had some variation of these different uh, models within the Akuma series, uh, but just not like these specific ones. So we'll put them to the test. We're gonna beat the tar out of them. We'll let you guys know if we still think they're worth it later on. But if you're interested and you wanna check out some of these products, go check out the Akuma website. You can click a link in our description below, which also lets them know that you came over from Burley Fishing and that we're doing our jobs. As always, if you guys like the content, be sure to subscribe, smash the like, ring that notification bell, and then come back Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern for that live podcast. We do giveaway gift cards every single week, and we have experts come onto the show to teach you all about how to become a better angler. Let's go fish. I'll see you guys on the next video.